This is Beverly Lang from Diversified Business Solutions. I just wanted to share with you a quick tutorial on how to import a QBO file. Whether you're in QuickBooks Online, which is what we're going to demo today, or in the desktop version, you have the ability when you're setting up your QuickBooks file to sync your bank account or to do what we call a bank feed. So in QuickBooks Online, you can set up your bank account so that all of your transactions are automatically downloaded into QuickBooks. Some banks will do a direct connect so that that information takes place in one smooth transaction. Other banks, like the bank that I use, require you to actually download and import a QBO file. But don't let that scare you. It's really not as bad as it sounds. I'm going to show you in just a couple seconds how you do that. So I'm going to go to my bank account and I've already selected the time frame that I'm looking for and I have multiple extensions or file types that I can pick so I'm going to choose the QBO and I'm going to hit create download file. It told me that that was successful and it's going to give me the ability to download that now when I go back to my home screen. So I'm going to slide down right here and tell it to export and you can see the little file drop. So then what I'm going to do is go back into QuickBooks Online I'm going to go over to the left hand menu bar and choose transactions. I'm going to go to banking. This is going to bring up my checking account. I'm going to go to the right hand upper corner to file upload. That's going to allow me to browse and I'm going to be able to go to my downloaded feed accounts here and I'm going to pick this last file and I'm going to hit next. It's going to ask me to verify which bank account it's going to and that is the correct one so I'm going to hit next and let it do its thing. And once everything is imported in and the file has been su successful, you will get a reading from QuickBooks just like this one that says yay, the bank file successfully uploaded to QuickBooks. When you hit finish, it's going to take you back to your banking transaction so that you can code each one of those and add them into your QuickBooks file. And that, my friends, is how you import a QBO file. Should you have any other questions or concerns in regards to this process or anything else related to QuickBooks, please look in the description below and you'll find all my contact information. Thanks so much and have a great day.